Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Yep, today we're talking about corgis and kitties. These are my best files. I, these are a staple, absolute staple of my business. I sell so many of these, it's just, can't even tell you. But it's not only the sales, right? I, I do this because I love it. And one of the most fun things is watching people smile and laugh and point and just have a good time over it. And I try to make files that do that because it's more fun for me. It makes my job more, fun, you know, interesting. It's like, that, you know, out of all the things in the world I could sell, that's what I try to sell. So these make great gifts, obviously. In the future, yes, maybe I'll do other dogs and things, but this is what has worked for me consistently. Everybody loves corgis. And uh, the cats, you know, they work super well. Pets in general, if you're just going to make things for your business, pets work super, super well. If you have acrylic, you can do these acrylic lamps. If you can do, uh, if you have a CO2 laser, uh, if you have a diode, you cannot do the clear, transparent acrylic. You, but there's already so much that you can do. There's no reason to worry about that. Uh, I will show you with the two-tone acrylic that you can make the keychains just fine. So we'll go through that. Uh, the first thing, though, that I want to show you is the Yin Yang Kitty Coasters. Now, if you have some of my other packs say like my best sellers pack that's going to have some versions of this if you have the keychain pack you'll have some keychain version of uh this uh, it's not in the this form now there's just so much you can do with this and you can make the earrings like here i will show you here uh these i do two-sided but you could just do one-sided and I hand paint them and it's just fun for me. And I love the way people, you know, smile when they see them. And so that's something I can do, but you could also do it in two-tone acrylic. So here I'll show you, this is the keychain that is in two-tone acrylic. Uh, and I did a video specifically on the genius of two-tone acrylic, but I talked about it in my acrylic video as well. Um, it, there's just so many things you can do with it and make whatever color you want to. Now, I personally don't feel like the black two-tone acrylic looks that black. It's more of a grayish look. So you can't really get this really cool yin-yang look to it. Uh, it's all right, but I kind of prefer the colors. The orange uh, always looks good. The purple, the blue, whatever uh, look really good for pretty much all of these items. Uh, you, I have a link below for Craft Closet, of course. I've talked about this before because you can get all of this stuff there. Uh, it's reasonably priced. And just make the, you can make these uh, two-tone acrylic uh, keychains. And the nice thing is, is you just put it in there and it's done, right? So it ends up saving you a lot of time and money just to be able to do it that way. Of course, I do them all in wood as well. I think these all work really well in wood. So in case you're wondering, like, how do you do it two-sided? I'll just tell you real quickly. Uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to do a mirror. So you're going to take this, you're going to copy it, and then you're going to mirror it so that you have them basically two corgis facing each other on light burn, right? You're going to cut them both out. And then you're just going to flip them one into each other, right? If you if people can't understand this, I'll totally make a video on it, but it's pretty simple. And then you just, uh, in light burned, you don't cut. You just turn off the cut for the second one and you just engrave it. And they're done. That's it. That's all you got to do. So cut once. <laughs> uh, this is pretty cool. If you have a CO2 laser and you can do acrylic, this is the Northern Lights acrylic. It's see-through, but yet it's see-through, but yet it looks like a mirror. It's something, it's just super, super cool. And you could also do the lamps. Uh, this is a, this one has glitter in it, but 
just do the clear lamps and put them in the LED uh, lamp things that you can get really cheap off Amazon. They, they look super cool. And if you have a business, they sell like crazy. Not only that, this is how it all works together, right? So you've got an acrylic lamp like this that draws attention, right? Instantly. If somebody's into this, they're going to see it and they're coming towards you. Or if you have it in a store, like I have this as in a store, I built this whole package, right? So I have, I made a uh, Corgi coaster. Here, I'll bring up a picture. Um, I, I have the Corgi coasters on top uh, and with a kitty coaster so that people can see it. And then I have the earrings, keychains, uh, etc. cetera, um, at the bottom or hanging below that. And so it draws the attention with the lamp or the, the uh, coasters I have on top. And then they can look and see everything and they usually pick up something. So it's just a way that it all works together. Uh, these are, say, your basic Corgi coasters and they sell super well. So if you wanted to have, you know, tiers, say like sell this one for five and then th these, these type for more. Uh, this particular one is the most difficult. Uh, what I would suggest that you do is this was an early version. <laughs> um, what I would suggest you would do is, uh, use the white color board. So for all of these, I'm pretty much for the kitties. There's this no brainer. I, I showed you in my last video, you use the color board solids from craft closet. And you can get them in all sorts of colors. I've already made some tabbies, and then I made some black and white, uh, black and orange ones for Halloween. Perfect, right? Perfect timing. Uh, but they're so easy; it's ridiculous. So basically, you have a cut line here. You're cutting out both sides, and so all you're doing is mix and matching them. So it doesn't waste any wood at all. And you just glue one inside the other and you get two different types. It's just brilliant. Reasonable cost to make. Very easy. These are cork bottoms that I use. And uh, I just glue it on top of that. And it's easy. It's quick. They look wonderful. They sell wonderful. Definitely highly recommended. So you can see how, you know, how a display would work how it brings people in. You're going to sit there and be making money. People are going to smile. They're going to laugh. They're going to have fun. You're going to enjoy those conversations. It's just a win-win on every level. But for the corgis, you're going to cut them out. And I would cut them out in the white uh, MDF uh, from Craft Closet, the color board solid. So you just get a bunch of white cut it all out and then just paint the uh, out see paint the things that aren't white. And I find that that's what works best for this. I tried you know getting the different colors of colorboard solids and just cutting those out. You can do that, but you're gonna end up wasting a lot of wood. I mean say you want to cut out the black. Well what's gonna happen to all of that inside? You may be able to put like, you know, some eyes and noses inside one. Maybe you could find other things to put in there. But it, I found after doing it for a while, it just wasn't worth it. So this is one of the few cases where I think paint does work well. And you can get a nice bright orange that you just can't get from colorboard solids. Uh, everything else you can get just fine. But this is just the way I went with it. But... I really, really love these so much that it's worth that extra time and effort that I put into making them. And I just make a whole bunch of them at once. And then if you've probably seen in the past, I make them all out of wood. So these are all different kinds of wood. And you just use the different colors of wood to make it, you know, fun. But of course, you're going to have to charge more for these because, you know, so this type of wood costs a lot more money. But you know, it's nice to be able to do things that are a little bit different. But overall, I think this is just a great pack for people that love this sort of thing. 
And you can use your imagination and you can take this and then take this to the next level and make stuff, you know. I, I've made wall hangings out of these. You know, you could use this this cat and put it inside, uh, you know, a serving tray or something just in wood. It looks so good. Uh, there's just an unlimited amount of things you can do with these files. So take them, run with them, make whatever you want. I mean, I have spent a lot of time just going through each of these files and trying to perfect them and make them as best I can. There is one thing that I cannot figure out what to do, how to do. Um, if you have a shape, maybe some of you out there with light burn, you can help me. If you have a shape, but it has uh, different lines in it, like node lines, how do you combine those? Yes, I know you could, you know, select it all and group it. But then when you send it over to cut in Lightburn, it's still going to cut those individual lines. It's not going to just cut out the whole thing as one item. And I have looked through Lightburn as much as I can, trying to figure this out. I, of course, watched all the videos I could find. I could not figure out how to combine these lines into one shape. And so if somebody's got a way to do that, it must be something silly that I'm just completely missing. But after spending hours doing it, I figure I'd just throw this out there to everybody. So you'll notice on the Corgi when you cut it out that it just, it, it'll it cut a little tiny lines, you know, because I spent hours, like I said, you know, node editing and getting these things perfect. And it, it did take a lot of time. But now I'd like to combine them all into a single shape to where it just cuts out as a shape in Lightburn. So make a short story long. <laughs> I could use some help with that. I don't know everything. I just do the best I can. And uh, I do think these files will work great for you. So um, I'd love to see your comments on Etsy. If you have any trouble with the file itself, anything in the file, hit me up on Etsy. Anything else, please just leave a comment here in the video so everybody can see it and we can talk about it. And of course, don't be rude. Just, you know, be nice. Be kind to everyone. This isn't Twitter. So um, hopefully you'll get as many laughs and smiles and happiness as I do. So I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.